Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Entrance Engineering Academy. Okay, so here in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, some of uh, like one of the major point which uh, uh, many students will face. Okay, like which most of the students are going to face this situation when they are uh, preparing for a gate okay, examination such as gate. Okay, so it is common not only for examination such as gate even if it is for ESC not only for gate even ESC or whatever the exams which you are preparing for okay mostly the technical exams okay right so the topic is something like are you ready to take mock test are you ready to take mock test okay i'm not going to talk about when you are going to take a mock test when you have to start taking mock test when you need to do this uh, and what you need to do in mock test how you need to write nothing because this is the this is the video uh, in which i'm not going to discuss discuss about all those things i have a separate video for that i will be doing it later okay so all the videos whatever the things which i followed and whatever the things which i feel that it is going to work out everything i will be doing it okay i will be doing it separately this is going to be a short video and in this short video what i'm going to say is are you ready for a mock test just this question okay so i'm just going to answer this question for you right so first of all when i started to write mock test uh, when i started to write a mock test the first thing which i faced was i forgot even very 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 small formulas example i forgot prandtl number seriously like uh, if you are uh, mechanical engineering students you will know what is mean by prandtl number okay so i forgot a formula for prandtl number okay if i forgot what is mean by prand uh, what is the formula for prandtl number i know what is mean by prandtl number where it is used what is the, all those things i know the concepts are fine but still i forgot the formula even it's very small formula right i forgot it see for example uh, like uh, in general if i want to talk you just take an example of uh, integration of maybe integration of something integration of ln x i forgot how to integrate ln x just imagine like that okay these are the things which can happen when you are writing mock test because when you are writing mock test you are going to have some 10 11 subjects with you okay not one subject or not even one chapter right so when you are preparing you will be studying a chapter separately a chapter separately a chapter separately a chapter separately then you will be combinedly studying one subject so writing a test in one subject is also fine but when you are writing mock test you are going to face all the subjects at a time so one question suddenly will come from mathematics another question will suddenly come from fluid mechanics another question will be strength of material so you have to face this so you need to recollect the formulas the major issues i'm talking about this is the major thing which i faced when i was writing my first mock test okay suddenly after writing my first mock test i decided okay this is the issue and if i want to write a mock test concepts are clear the reason is uh, the concepts once you've studied it will stay for some some time some more time but formulas it's very easy for you to forget and one of the things which i already discussed about it short notes writing a short notes and revising periodically even if you write short notes and revise it periodically also there is possibility for forgetting some formulas when you are writing mock test because of combination of all the subjects at a time okay because even when you are revising short notes when you are doing periodical revisions also what you will do you will read one subject right for example today you are reading some topic tomorrow you won't read the topic you won't read that topic you will be reading some other topic maybe some other subject also okay so you will be studying subjects individually and you will be revising the subjects individually you won't revise the subject in totality so that could be a problem i'm not i'm saying it very clearly you won't forget the concepts most of the times you won't forget the concepts you will forget the formulas that can happen to many of them i i hope the uh, the students who are watching this video also for many of them this would have happened those who already attempted attempted mock test okay so this is the issue which i faced i am forgetting formulas yes i am forgetting formulas even after doing all these things even after doing periodical revision even writing short notes and even revising the short notes periodically then also i am forgetting the formulas when i am going for mock test this happens and this will happen to most of the students 95% of the students now how to overcome this when i was preparing i thought okay what i need to do now because i am forgetting it even though after doing periodical revision even though after uh, what i could say writing the short notes properly the issue is if i start to write mock test for example 9:30 morning 9:30 i am starting to write a mock test 
I cannot revise entire short notes because short notes might be for example, I will be having some uh, 120 pages, okay, not 120 pages, it is too much, uh, maybe some uh, 50 pages, okay, combinedly all the subjects 50, 60 pages, okay. And if you write 10 pages for one subject, of course, it will go for 120, okay, it depends how, how you are preparing. I used to write some 6, 7 pages uh, for one subject, so it will be 60, 70 pages. If you are writing 10 pages for one subject, then it will go for 100, okay, so it depends on the person, person to person, it will vary. So, if I am going to write mock test at 9.30, I cannot revise all the complete short notes in the morning time itself. Because revising complete short notes itself will take 2-3 days. Okay, so, I cannot revise the complete short notes in uh, 3 hours or 2 hours, that is not, not at all possible. So, that is why periodical revision, I need to split the topic. I am revising some topic today, I will be revising some other topic tomorrow, I will be revising some other topic day after tomorrow. Okay, so, I cannot revise short notes at a stretch. Okay. So, Mm, so before 9:30, I cannot revise. Uh, I cannot revise all the short notes at a stretch. So what I need to do? I thought about it and I decided something. I created formula wall. What is this formula wall? It seems to be a crazy word. What I did was uh, I taken a board. Actually, this uh, not this type of board. Uh, you will be having a, a paper board. Or let me talk about in this sense. I taken a chart. Okay, so there was a chart A3 A3 size chart. I started to write the formulas which is mostly critical, okay, which is mostly critical, which is very, very, very easy to forget, very easy to forget. I started to do that for all the subject. I taken one A3 sheet and I started to write, I started from linear algebra, went for calculus, went for uh, differential equation, written everything, all, what are the formulas which I will be forgetting. Then I jumped into theory of machines, I written uh, acceleration, uh, velocity analysis, mechanism, vibration, gears, gear trains, everything, whatever the formula which I will be forgetting, I will not write single theory also. I will not write single theory also, I will not write single concept also, only formulas, only formulas, okay. okay. I will not write any significance also, because all those things has been already taken notes, because uh, those things we will not forget, for sure we are not going to forget that, but formulas we are going to forget. It is an examination which can consist of 10 subjects at a time, 10, 11 subjects at a time, so formula there is possibility for you to forget. Right. So, I did that. Okay, I written each and every subject's formulas separately in A3 sheet and I sticked, uh, like if I was going to sit here and there was a wall near me, you can imagine like this, I am standing it here, this is the wall, okay. So, I pasted all the A3 sheets here, okay, completely. I pasted my A3 sheets after writing it, I pasted my A3 sheets here and whenever I am going to write mock test, before writing mock test, I will take two hours, minimum, actually maximum two hours, not minimum, maximum two hours. I will stare at the formulas, just I will be staring it, I will be staring it fastly. Okay, I will be going through it fastly, then I will be skipping for the next, I will be staring, staring it fastly and then I will be going for the next. In that manner, I could revise 10 subjects in a, in a very, very less time. So, whenever you are going to write a mock test, whenever I written a mock test, I did this. This is something which is going to be very, 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 very useful for everyone because you cannot revise short notes in that particular time in half an hour or 45 minutes, but still you could cover the entire subject in two hours by doing this. See, don't write the significance, don't write the concept, don't write all those things, don't write the theories, don't write the stories, only formulas because that is what you are going to forget. If you are doing the, if you did other steps correctly, what are the other steps? If you did periodical revision correctly, if you done any problems properly, okay, if you did the other steps correctly, then you won't forget concepts. That is for sure. You are not going to forget the concepts. You will be forgetting formula. So, which you are going to forget, that is what you need to, like you need to, you need to recollect it before going for exam. And this staring before the wall, okay, just staring means not only staring, I am staring it, I am I'm just going through the formulas. Okay, so doing this uh, brought enormous amount of confidence with me. Okay, the confidence which, which I like, the confidence which I had when I written my first mock test, okay, without uh, staring the wall, that is without staring the formulas for one hour or one hour fast. So that time, the confidence which I had was very less. And once after writing this, I spent a day, like more than a day, I spent one and a half days or something like that for writing everything and for sticking it. Okay, but that time is very, 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 very worthy. I did this and before going for second mock test, I stared all the formulas. That is, I, I keep on staring it. I like, I just gone through the formulas for two hours and I went for an exam mock test. And I was 
the confidence which I had was enormous. Drastically, the confidence increased and that will surely help you. Okay, right. So this uh, and and the thing which I faced in the second mock test was like it was something which I could say a formulas which I didn't take in, okay, which I didn't written. There may be one or two formulas, not everything. But second mock test, I could uh, like what I could say compared to first mock test, I I can uh, I improved myself by 80 percentage in the second mock test. That is for sure. 80 percentage I increased by not forgetting the small small formula, some uh, some critical formulas. But still, still I am forgetting few things, one or two things, and whatever I am forgetting, that I am updating in the charts. Okay, so this uh, wall chart, I, I don't, I forgot the name actually. What I said, the preparation of chart in the wall. Okay, so how to prepare that? So most of them will be have most of them. If you are not going to have a wall for you, okay, I had separate wall for me because I will be sitting, I will be sitting here, I will be sitting here, and there will be wall before me. So and I stick everything there. If you don't have wall, you can take your study table, okay, or whatever you have in front of you. But uh, don't sit, uh, don't sit near that when you are writing mock test. When you are going to write the mock test, go away somewhere, okay? Don't sit there because you will be seeing it and you will be writing it, right? That is not fair. Right, so this is the tips I'm going to, this is the tip which I'm going to, I wanted to share with you and this is going to be very, very helpful. So try to do this, spend a day or one and a half day before writing a mock test, prepare this, this is going to be very effective. If you have any doubts regarding this or any other things and uh, still I wanted to make many videos further, general videos and I have some plans, okay, I have plan. I have some plans what to do, what, what are the videos which I need to make. In addition to that, I just want to know what are the videos which you guys want because um, um, maybe I, I, I'm just think, I'm just thinking from my point of view what are the issues which I faced and uh, some of my students what are the issues they faced and I'm collecting it and I'm just uh, giving it to you. Now I just want what are the issues which you are facing and what are the things which are uh, issues in which I need to make a video. So if you are able to comment it, then surely I will try to make the video as soon as possible. Okay. So, we will see in the next video.